This is a journey to ancient Iran, aimed at visiting one of the most mysterious historical sites of the world. A temple built more than 3,000 years ago at a place once known as Elam. In the late 1940s, the French were looking for new oil reserves at southwestern Iran in the plains of Khuzestan province when they came across a hill which looked like an upside-down basket. It was interesting that the locals referred to the hill with the same name, calling it Chugha Zambil. Later on, French archaeologist Roman Grishman found an Elamite cuneiform inscription on the top of that hill. That was the tip of an iceberg which led to the discovery of a great part of world history. The Ziggurat Temple was unearthed. In 1300 BC, the Chorazambil Ziggurat was built by Untash Naperisha, king of Elam, as a temple to honor the Elamite god in Shushinak the protector of the Elamite capital, Susa. Since then, the temple and its surrounding complex known as Dur Untash, meaning the city of King Untash, has stood silently on an immense plateau, some 40 kilometers away from the city currently known as Shush. A ziggurat is defined as a terraced step pyramid of successively receding stories or levels. The Chorozambil temple covers an area of more than 12,000 square meters in the middle of the Dur Untash complex. The only indoor space at the building was its shrine, situated at the top where the statue of God Inshushinak was kept. The king and his queen were the only people allowed in there. the chance to come up here as I did. And in fact, it is from up here where well, you get to see what archaeologists really mean when they talk about the Cholozambio Temple. Atnan Alikasir is an expert on the site. He took us to a place where we could have a better understanding of Duruntash city and its temple. معبد چاغازنبیل قدیمی ترین مخزن آب دنیا رو داره که گفته میشه به نظر گریشمن از شهر شوش از رود کرخ کانال آبی کشیدن و آب شور به اینجا رو تأمین میکرده نزدیک های چاغازنبیل کانالی یه ساختاری به ارتفاع چهار متر زیر زمین درست کردن داخل کانال و ظرف های سفالی باقی میچیدن که آب پخش نشه و به وسیله ظروف مرتبط آب را به این ساختار میرسودن The gentle breeze and the panoramic view on top of the temple give you a sense as if you are now standing in ancient Elam. The days of glory came to an end for the ziggurat after Ashurbanipal, king of Assyria, attacked Elam in 640 BC. That was when the ziggurat was destroyed. Prior to its destruction by the Assyrians, the ziggurat was some 52 meters high. In fact, it was a five-story building. What remains of it today is only 25 meters of the structure, which is nearly halfway through the third floor. The ziggurat was built with a core of mud brick and an exterior covered with bricks. It had no internal chambers except a number of spaces at the ground floor. This was one of the most sacred sites for the Elamites and therefore strongly protected by guards with thick doors made from zizephus wood, held firmly by stone hinges. The time that it took to build the ziggurat still remains as a big question mark for many archaeologists. But some of them believe that it could have taken up to 40 years to build this temple. What is interesting about the ziggurat is that on top of each 10 rows of bricks, you'll find a row of Elamite inscriptions a curse calling for the annihilation of anyone who does any sort of harm to the building or takes his property away. Now that's spooky. I'm not superstitious, but after the Assyrians destroyed this building, they were badly wiped off by the Achaemenids, 
Even Roman Grishman, who took a lot of relics from here to France, was not able to have any children. This magnificent piece of architecture attracts thousands of visitors from all over Iran and across the world who come to this remote area to witness the splendor of the Elamite dynasty. Archaeologists believe that Dur Untash and its ziggurat still have many secrets that are waiting to be discovered. Amir Mehdi Kazemi for Iran.